pupils started using Healy Ranger a lot in their decks, which made the Eeries not to give us the value that we need. So I have changed him to the Magic Archer to completely destroy their backline units with the piercing value using this Skeleton King deck. Well now, without more talking, let's jump into some games and show you how to play with it. Alright, here we are in game number 1 facing a Shield Maiden player. Usually in the first round, I'm just going to play with the SK and placing him in one of these sides. That's one important thing. I'm going as well to cycle those Fishermans in my shop because I probably will not need him in this early rounds. Looks like this is going to be a free first round for me. Okay, the wizard to the 2 star because I'm kind of feeling him to have the dagger goblin. And here he is, so our wizard hopefully must not let that dagger goblin to get some insane amount of values. And by the way, his wizard placement is so good, his maiden is not going to get pushed back because of him. And we might just lose this round because of that, let's see. Okay, his dagger is finally down. The skeletons are going to swarm the maiden, are we having any kind of chance? His maiden is finally down and the wizard at the end comes with the clutch, that was so insane. In round number 3, I'll fiercely place down a magic archer right behind my SK, like that he should be able to pierce on top of his wizard and obviously I'm just going to upgrade my wizard to the 3 star. After that, I'm gonna try to get 1 star golden giant on the board. And nice, firstly, let's cycle the fisherman because we don't need him and go like this. He decided not to play with 10 of his elixirs. Oh boy, that might be one of the biggest mistakes because now my magic arch is gonna take down his uh, wizard. After that, the dagger goblin is probably gonna go down. And this game is going to be ended right here, right now, in this round. Easy victory against Maiden players, GG's. In the game number 2, we are facing a Grand Warden player. Okay, in the first round as always, I'm going to choose one of the sides for my escape and cycle the Fisherman in my shop because I will not need him. He is using his Warden on top of the tile, okay not that bad. My escape is just going to get the easy isolation on top of his guard. Now he goes on top of the warden, the first soul is down but I think that is not going to be a huge problem because his warden is down and the guard is going to be an easy work for us. Now that 2 star wizard in the back line should tank for the curse style and as well hopefully we might get some insane values from him. Let's see, he goes with his 2 star dagger goblin and the SK is locking on top of him, that's so huge, one SK ability is going to be so good. Nice. The dagger is down finally and I guess that was our only problem right in this second round. So things are looking pretty good and we are going to take this round as well. In round number 3 I will firstly upgrade my wizard to the extra splash like that we can hit his dagger goblin with the wizard and after that I guess going with the magic archer from now will not be bad to pierce on top of his warden. A knight in the front line. Wait, that was actually a really good play, now my wizard is not splashing on top of his dagger goblin. Okay, well played by him. Big SK ability. That miner is gonna take down our wizard, that's so bad. But hopefully the magic archer... Are we having a chance in here? And I guess with the help of the magic archer, this game is going to be ended right here, right now, in this round. GG's. We are against a countess player this time. Countess in Ultra Legend, that's not something that we can see in every day. So, in the first round, as always, I'm gonna choose one of the sides and cycle those magic archers because I'm not going to use him so early. I'm gonna go with a golden giant as well to tank for my ESG. Pekka in the first round by him. Okay, the Pekka hopefully should get isolated in some seconds. And the SK is taken care of here. And I guess we might actually end this first round without him getting any stacks and that was so huge. In the second round, I'm gonna try to upgrade my golden giant to the second ability to give us some extra amount of tank. Nice, we got him. Firstly, let's cycle that fisherman and after that, go like this. He was a mini pickup by him. Okay, I see you brother. The golden giant is providing a really good amount of tank for us. 
SK was able to get one soul, but will that be enough? The E was so annoying and looks like we are going to lose this one. In round number 3, is it possible to get the piercing value on top of his Electro Wizard? Well, with this Pega placement, I really don't think so. So I'm just going to place my Magic Archer right here to damage down his Pega as fast as possible and one wizard in the opposite side as a bait for the countess. Now, Magic Archer to the triple shot and unfortunately I was not having enough time to upgrade the Magic Archer to the 2 star but not a big deal. Okay, our king is getting the ice on top of his P.E.K.K.A. that's so nice. One soul in the store and another soul comes from the mini P.E.K.K.A. that's so huge. Big golden giant stand on top of his Electro Wizard and we might actually have a chance to win this one. His Countess is finally down and the Skeleton King should hopefully handle this Electro Wizard for us at the end. In route number 4, actually from now hooking his Mini P.E.K.K.A will not be that bad, so I might try to do it. But before doing that, let's first try to get a 2 star Magic Archer or a 3 star Magic Archer on the board. One more reroll, unfortunately I was able to get only one magic archer, well I'm thankful for that, I'm gonna upgrade him to the second ability, I really like that upgrade. Now hook in his mini P.E.K.K.A and I'm gonna keep the, with, uh, the prince for the last round, that will be better. A lumberjack by him, alright, we are getting some magic archers cheap because of that hook, that was so incredible. SK. No, the first soul of the king is down without any kind of extra souls. That was a bad thing. Are we having any kind of chance? Magic Archer, I'm believing in you. And let's go guys, the Magic Archer clutches it for us in this game. GG's. Alright guys, this is going to be the last game for today's video and we are facing a warden player. As always in the first round, I just like to go with my skill thinking. Knight and Dagger Goblin by him in the first round. Thankfully his dagger is not upgraded to the second ability so no worries in the first round till now. The SK was able to get one soul, that's nice. His dagger is finally down and the Warden as well is gonna go down because of the isolation. In the second round, from now, I must try to build up my wizard to not let his dagger goblin to get some insane amount of values. So the wizard in here, upgrading him to the extra splash as well. Now, magic archer just in case. Nice, I got one golden giant. One more reroll. And that's exactly what I want. Firstly, golden giant to the second ability. After that, wizard to the first. So we should be good from now. He is having a magic arch in his deck. Alright, the wizard is splashing on top of his dagger goblin. One soul for the king. Big golden giant stand on top of his dagger goblin. Things are looking pretty good till now. Now the king is having two souls and that must be enough for us to take care of this second round. In round number 3, well from now I'm just going to place a magic archer right behind my king. Like that, we should get some easy piercing value on top of his magic archer. Okay, my king once again is going to get one easy soul from that knight. Now his magic archer is splashing on top of mine. I really don't like that, but it is what it is. We are having two souls and that might actually be enough too. Oh no, I was not able to get that SK ability and that's going to cost us this round. A 2 star miner by him, that is going to be so annoying for us. The skill thinking is coming back for the miner, that actually might be so great. Okay. Oh no, the sneaky goblin in the back line is going to cause some troubles. And looks like we are not going to win this round as well. In the last round, what will be good to do? I think. His warden is in our fisherman range, so we can hook him into our backline and hopefully take him down fastly. So, wait, actually, his knight is going to taunt all of my mates, so hooking the warden is just going to be useless. I'm going to upgrade the golden giant to the two star, now magic archer to the triple shot, that will be really good against his miner. 
and I was looking for another golden giant, but not a big deal. We are just gonna go like this. Okay, the golden giant is going to provide a really good amount of tank for us. His miner is finally down. SK is gonna deliver a big ability on top of his backline minis. His dagger goblin is dead, and with one sword on top of my king, I think this is going to be enough for us to win. Let's go, guys! Well, this is going to be it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.